Hi, this is Tim. Here we are working on our InDesign files again. Uh, I'm wearing my favorite Hawaiian shirt because I'm uh, a beach bum stuck in Ireland on cold, damp August. Uh, so, anyway, what we're doing is looking at how to use InDesign and create combined words and images for output to paper. All right can also use it to output to PDF or um, other electronic formats, but our main purpose is to create photo books. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have to start to learn to use these tools, and the main things that we work with are our page size, text boxes that we put text into, and images that we put pictures into. All right. So I always like to start with a single page layout. And for that, we're using stationary designs, all right? Because it's better for everybody if they have their own stationary design. Now, uh, talk about branding all you want, but it makes a difference when you are communicating with people that you have a distinctive presentation, all right? So the first thing you can do is run over to Google Image Search and type in Photographer Stationary and you can get all kinds of samples uh, shown to you, lots of which are horrible, some of which are very interesting, and come up with some, th some ideas that you can steal or just think about how you want to present yourself because the thing you don't want to do is type your correspondence in Microsoft Word because it's boring, forgettable, and we need to do something more to show people a little bit of who you are. All right. So, something like that. Uh, anything with a camera in the, on the page is probably not a great idea. Uh, here's a really clean and classy one. Um, their little sample page is shown in black and white because it looks really clean. Here's a nice one where the person's name is LZ, and so they use a really cool version of a tilted L with a Z that could also be an N, so it makes a very strong graphic shape, and they're echoing that across several different materials. Here's one for a fashion photographer with a bit of portfolio style on it. Stationary with a full page image on the back, or business card with an image on the back of that, so um, that's one way to convince people that you're a photographer. Here's a really nice, simple design. Person's name starts with a P and a D. So here the design studio, this is clearly professional design, has this cute little suggestion of a P and D, which also echoes the concept of a lens, the uh, uh, shutter elements. So very stylish, very cool. All right. Or here's another version of a selection of portfolio shots. Obviously, this person is a child photographer. Six, eight different cards with different images on them. Very charming, lovely faces. The front part of the card with the person's name and bees all over the place. I find might be a little uh, much, but... Um, that's one way they've chosen, and it's certainly going to be distinctive. Okay, so, all right. So, <laughs> that's me trying to convince you to create your own logo. Um, in part two, we're going to build these three different uh, layout designs for a piece of letterhead. And uh, so, check back in a few seconds here and try and uh, see you on that bit.